Good morning, friends. It's good to see you today. Glad to be able to share God's Word with you. Um, we're continuing our journey to the resurrection, and today I want to talk about Martha. Um, you know, she is considered a saint in the Orthodox and Roman Church, and she's definitely a person whom Jesus holds in high regard. Not only that, but she seems to have kind of led her family and taking care of the things that needed taking care of there. We are fortunate to have people in our congregation and people in our lives like Martha, people who put others before themselves and people who lift others up. As I said Sunday, I am so grateful for the saints of God that pray for our church and our ministry each and every day. And I am grateful for the love and the care people show others by the gift of service and the gift of devotion. Um, I am blessed to have a wife and a mother-in-law who have those gifts as well. And I am thankful for their work and their efforts, not only in our family, but for the kingdom. So as we look at this story this weekend, uh, remember that Martha's just lost her brother, and she is the one who holds everything together. I remember when my dad died, we all realized we had to do a better job of keeping in touch because that's what dad did. Um, sad to say we haven't done it as well as we should, but we try to do that together. I implore you to be a little bit more like Martha as I ask myself to, that we would care for others and that we would seek in what God's doing, God's purposes and God's plan by having God's heart for other people. Hope you have a good day. We don't have prayer at 10. We have men's lunch at 1130. That will be at Venetia today. And then we have uh, the start of our Summer Hope program this afternoon. And we invite you to uh, be with us at 7 for kids and teen time and for chapter 3 of the book of Revelation. And I pray that God blesses you today and always with a spirit of love for God and service to God through others. Have a wonderful day.